Life is full of experiences, and these experiences are what help us grow. They're what help us learn and figure out how to live the rest of our life and to help us prepare ourselves for future things that we might encounter. How am I sounding? Hopefully it sounds all right. I look like a sweet potato right now. I'm just gonna show you that I have a pen hat, but I'm going to take it off. Hey guys, I'm Matt, and I'm a current sophomore studying business at UPenn. I'm back at home now. It's winter break, finally home. It's boring, it's cold, it's snowing chilling with our family, chilling with our friends. Just finished another semester of college. I'm here for winter break, and it's good to kind of reminisce over the past. So I thought to myself, you know, what are some things that I wish I knew before I came to college? If I were to start college all over again, what would I want to know? What did I wish that I knew before coming to college? People aren't as happy as they might seem. Not everyone is putting on a smile and it's truthful. I think when you start first going to college, everyone's just so busy meeting each other that you kind of lose focus on how you're feeling, what your mental health is, what emotional state you're in. Like people have their own lives, they got their own classes. It's really stressful. Just because you see some person that might be happy or may not be happy, doesn't mean that everyone else is like that, okay? So relax. Number two, number two. Everyone is starting out the same as you. Hey, look at this view. Isn't it spectacular? Right, some might have some sort of academic edge, but they don't have the hands-on experience, the in-person experience of what's going on. Don't feel like you have to be fake. Just clean slate. No one's going to be able to tell you exactly what to do that's in your grade. So just know that you're not alone and you can use this opportunity to get ahead and just to take every opportunity by its tail and make sure that you're doing everything you can to meet new people, to try new things, and just to explore. If you do want an edge going to school, we're just trying to be smarter, we're trying to be better. You can get a huge edge and have an amazing way to learn with Brilliant.org. What can I say about Brilliant.org? It's a great interactive way to learn different topics throughout STEM. In high school, and you want to learn more up to calculus-based concepts with thousands of lessons teaching you a variety of topics with new ones added every month. If you want to learn an introduction to algebra, say you're in middle school and you're just prepping yourself to new math concept. What if you want to have some econ experience or review some math, science, or any other STEM topic that will get you ahead in your classes for the upcoming semester? Or maybe you're just more interested in tech. You want to learn how to code. There is an introduction to computer programming. You can introduce yourself to different languages. You can even learn artificial intelligence with different neural networks. Or like, I wish I knew about this back in high school or middle school because like the way you would learn is just through textbooks or through Googling. But if you have a service like this, all of it comes packaged for you. So then you don't have to. I feel like this is like the most fun way to learn. Just saying this out there. If you do want to get started with Brilliant.org, if you do want an edge, use my link, brilliant.org slash Matthew First 200 people get 20% off the premium subscription. 20% off. So if you do want to do something like that, go ahead. Thank you, Brilliant.org, for sponsoring this video. Brilliant.org is the next tip that I wish I knew before college. Thanks, Brilliant, for sponsoring this video. Get to know your professors, go to office hours, befriend your TAs. 99% of the time, if you just rely on their lectures, you're not gonna do well in the exams or the homeworks. Go to office hours, make sure that you understand the content because things in lectures aren't going to be enough for you to succeed. And also just like, you get to make a friend at the end of the day too. I mean, one of my best friends today, like my friend Johnny, he was one of my TAs. Now we're best buddies, we go rock climbing. <sighs> That's the problem with laces. It's a good time. Thank you so much for rock climbing with me and helping me with computer science. Hello, you're not gonna see this, but hello. Five, manage finances. Make sure you're just organized with your money, okay? Be fiscal, you know what I'm saying? Number six, time management. Like finances, your time has to be well organized. Not a strict schedule, but have a very responsible schedule where you're dedicating time to studying, purely studying. If you have rest, use that dedicated time to rest. Some guy just got into the truck next to me. Duck, duck, ah! Uh. You know, work hard, play hard, you know what I'm saying? Meet as many people as possible when you first go to college. Meet as many people as you can and bond with them. Especially at a lot of schools, like my school, there are a lot of fake people, so make sure you're careful with who you choose and who choose you. Just to get an idea of what cultures are out there, how diverse your community is, and just see what you like, what you don't, and just whether or not you want someone to be your best friend or not. You meet people to understand who you like, who you don't like, who you get along with, and just those that you want to cherish for the rest of your life. Bolt's coming, you want to say hi to my dog? Come here, come here, hey, what's up buddy? Oh my gosh, hey, hey. No, you're gonna smell my crotch? Okay, you can do that too. Bolt, what is something you wish you knew before I went to college? Last but not least, it's cold outside, it's freezing. I think this is the most personal to me. You just gotta stay happy and healthy. Staying happy and healthy.
This is, this is very hard to describe. You need to remind yourself. Keep a smile on your face, and if you're not always happy, that's fine. If you're sad, that just makes being happy later down the road way more worth it. And it's very easy in college to lose yourself when you have so much going on. So just like every now and then take a step back and reflect on what you're happy about, what you want to do, and how you're going to tackle it. And oh my gosh, it's cold, but I'm warm inside. You know what I'm saying, dog? It's really easy to lose your sense of self, and it's really easy to trap yourself in this oh really gosh. toxic environment. Everything might not go the way you want it to, but you have a plan. You are doing everything that you can to the best of your ability, okay? Don't be proud of the result. Be proud of the work that you put in, that before you even get the results in, you're already happy and you're proud of who you are today and how much you've grown. But college is temporary. You are forever. What am I? What the? Thank you guys for watching the video. That's cool. That's chill. We're chilling. That's the end of the video. It's very exciting to know how the rest of my years at college are going to go. Ah! I'm going to keep vlogging, have uploads in a while, but thank you guys so much for watching. I have a couple interesting ideas planned for you. Really excited. Take care. Peace. Turkey. What did I just say? <laughs> did you just say college is temporary? You are forever.